Hey there guys, we're going to be going back to the Catastrophe Trial. I posted a clear earlier, it was just on the fly, not planned out at all, and as a result it was very messy. We're going to go back with a different team where I actually took the time to plan my turn by turn clear. So we're going to go to Catastrophe, all missions, 5 units or less, uh, 15 turns or less, no items. We're going to be taking a properly built Ash Friend again, that is using 400 Earth Resist, uh, status immunity, death immunity, etc. Um, and she's chosen because she has good Fairy Killer. And we're going to swap to a Water Team using Golbez. This is the party we're going to use, and let's give it a go. This time I made a turn chart so I don't really get lost. I'll put the turn chart in the comments. You can follow along if you want to. But, you know, it makes it a little bit easier if, you know, have a chart you just follow along. So we're going to go ahead and compassionate with Sylvie. We're going to use Ash Friends to cover, Magic Break, and Shelga. We're going to start focusing Golbez for some burst later. We're going to use Nicole to shift on turn one in the shift form. We're going to Flood. Um, whoops, wrong skill. We're going to imbue the party, Flood, and we're gonna get his 100% Amplify going on Golbez. And we're gonna use Lulu to do her LB. All right. Now Lulu is our Provoker, by the way, and she's higher in the party order than Ash. So she'll be taking the Berserk. I decided that was that, that was a better way to do it because because when the tank was berserked it was a big headache. Uh, but Ash can be berserked and we don't really mind. Let's go ahead and put up the field with Nicole. Let's focus with Golbez again. Now let's shift our Ash friend and use that 250 killer, which is parting with the gods. It's a uh, 250 fairy killer single target. Now, if you're using a full team of DPS, you can use her LB for an AOE killer. It's not as big. But, you know, it's still decent. But well, we're using a single target on Golbez. Now, Sylvie can shift this turn, and we can use her Clever to Sword in Peril. And then Lulu can use her Magnus Break. Now, we're not going to have her SLB ready in time, which is unfortunate. You know, if you're EX3, Lulu, you're great. We only have an EX2. That's okay. Okay. So, this turn... We're going to go ahead and start bursting. We're going to have Nicole do his LB for the Amplify. We're going to have... We're going to wait on Lulu for the moment. So Golbez is going to nail Meteor. And he currently has a 100% Amplify from Nicole. We're going to shift Ash to the base form and triple bolting to support chain to cap that Meteor. We're going to use Sylvie to triple bolting to cap that Meteor. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and send Golbez, and we're going to wait, and hopefully I count it properly. It's a little bit tricky to cap Meteor properly, but I think I should have done it. So it caps around hit 20, and it caps all three. There we go. So about 23, 24% damage. Now, every third turn of his rotation, he's a four-turn rotation, every third turn in Phase 1, he dispels. So we need to net the sight on that. And I'll have, the, I'll have the Nethesite turns marked in the turn chart. Just make sure the Nethesite is the last action. Otherwise, you'll Nethesite your own spells, like, you know, Shell or Meteor and stuff, and you won't Nethesite the Dispel. So make sure your Nethesiter is always your last action. Okay, so this turn, we're going to go ahead and re-imbue with Nicole, True Water Infusion. We're going to have Sylvie go back to the base form. Let's have... Uh, Golbez Focus, and Sylvie is going to do Triple Compassionate just to uh, refill mana on Golbez. We're going to shift our Ash and reapply that killer. It's only a two-turn killer, which is unfortunate, but she can maintain it always if she casts it every other turn. And now we're going to SLB our Lulu. That gives us enough in peril with Nicole's Crown Field to bring the boss to zero water resist. Now, our Lulu is going bit, to get Berserked for the next two turns. That's okay. The Berserk deals fixed damage, so make sure your Provoker does have a decent amount of Spirit. You don't need that much, but enough to not die. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and cap again, but we need to put up Cover and all that first. So we're going to go ahead and, as you saw, Lulu was Berserked. So we're going to go ahead and put up Cover, we're going to put up Magic Break, and we're going to do Shelga with Ash. 
Uh, Golbez is going to Meteor again. Now this time the Meteor is not double focused. We don't have 100% Amplify. It's going to deal less damage, but thankfully we do now have the boss at zero water resist from Imperils. So go ahead and triple Clever and Nicole will Blue Wave to support chain. So again, we need to hopefully cap this properly. So we're going to do this. We're going to wait and then we're going to send and hopefully I did that right. I think I did. Looks right. And there we go. So the boss is at 60% on turn 5. The first few turns we're setting up, so we should be on track for a 15 turn clear with 5 units. There's some damage on your tank, and if your tank has 400 resist, they take basically no damage, which is great. That way you don't, you don't gotta worry about healing. Okay, so again, we're gonna focus Golbez to get his, uh, give him time to get his mana back. We're gonna have Sylvie go back to the base and Compassionate. Now, if you're doing things like using items, you can actually burst more often with like elixirs and all, but that would fail a mission and we don't want that. So we're gonna shift and do um, Killer again on Golbez. And also to speed up the clear, you can bring a double Golbez and bring six units if you're having problems doing all missions at once. Uh, let's go ahead and True Water again on Nicole. Okay, so this turn, or the turn coming up, turn seven, uh, our Ash, will, I'm sorry, our Lulu will, will be out of Berserk, finally. So, okay, so first of all, we need to reapply Cover and all that on Ash. So Cover, we're going to Magic Break, and we're going to Shelga. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a meteor with Golbez. So we're gonna meteor again. Again, it's, all, it's only one stack of focus. That's okay. We're gonna triple bolting with, um, I can't think of the name, Sylvie. And you can either, you know, triple bolting with Lulu. We'll do that just for the fun of it to mix it up. And we'll net the site with Nicole, or you can net the site with Lulu again, doesn't matter. But uh, just remember, just make sure net the site is the last action. So we're going to go ahead and send Golbez, and we're going to wait. Then we're going to go ahead and chain, and we're going to hopefully cap it properly. It looks like I did. So we're in Phase 2. Technically speaking, you don't need Nethysite in Phase 2, So because the boss doesn't dispel in Phase 2. Phase 2 is between 50 until 10%. But you might not have pushed Phase 2, so we're going to Nethysite anyway, just in case but there's not gonna be any dispels in this phase until we get the boss to 10% health, then dispels will begin again. Okay, thankfully, Nicole is now able to shift again. This is a little bit of a headache. We have, we have bad amplifies because he can't, he can't keep his LB active, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and SLB our Lulu. Let's get a killer buff from our Ash onto our Golbez. Our Golbez will focus, and Sylvie will go back and get us ready to burst again next turn. It's pretty pretty basic rotation. We burst, we, we, we refill, we burst, we refill, etc. But thankfully, at this point, we now have, um, uh, what's it called? The big Amplify from Nicole. And actually, his 100% his Amplify will be coming off cooldown again soon. Let's go ahead and reapply the Leviathan Field, just to make sure. It's there for the rest of the fight. Um, we're gonna go ahead and S and Meteor. We'll have base form Ash triple bolting strike. And we will triple clever with our Sylvie to cap this Meteor and hopefully I cap it properly. So we're gonna go ahead and this, we're gonna wait. And let's do it. Hopefully I did it properly. And looks like yes, we did. Okay, perfect. Now, if you're doing a strat like this, I recommend you do your big bursting on odd turns because once we get into phase three, which is below 50%, below 10% health, uh, every even turn, the boss will dispel. Let's go ahead and reapply the LB with Nicole just for more amplify. Um, let's, more time on it, I should say. Let's do magic boost with, uh, you know, I'm just realizing we actually, whatever. Let's do magic boost with our Golbez. Let's um, turn 10. Let's go ahead and shift and do a killer on our Golbez. And Sylvie will uh, base form and compassionate a few times. So we will compassion, compassion, compassion for the mana regen. I think I actually, Lost a turn. Three, four. 
It looks like our turn 7 Meteor didn't have a magic buff active. That's kind of my mistake. It didn't really matter. Anyway, now Nicole can reapply Imbue, and we have his big 100 Amplify off cooldown. Let's put it on uh, Golbez and do Flood. So turn 11 is, um, we're in phase 2, so there's no Nethocyte here. So we're going to use Lulu to triple bolting. We're going to go to the base form with our Ash, and she is going to refresh cover, Magic Break, and Shelga. That way it's there for the remainder of the fight. Sylvie will shift and triple bolting, and we'll cap another Meteor. Thankfully, in two turns, we're going to get another big 100% amplified Meteor. And now we have Lulu's SLB up, so it's doing even more damage. So let's go ahead and do... Um, do the meteor and we wait 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 chain hopefully i did it properly and one two three we did now we're in phase two okay so phase two like a, or phase three phase three every even turn the boss is going to dispel and then do a bunch of nukes you gotta net the site every even turn in phase two that's why i like bursting on odd turns so that we don't have to worry about Nethocyte. But we're in phase two now, so we're gonna Nethocyte with Nicole this turn. Um, we're gonna use Golbez to just focus. Uh, we could potentially, probably, honestly, just use like triple Compassionate on Sylvie and burst again on Golbez, but we're not gonna risk it. There's no reason to risk it. We're close to winning anyway. We're gonna go ahead and Magic Boost, and we're just gonna take it nice, nice and safe. We're gonna shift and put up Killer. Uh, let's see, killer again on Golbez. Um, let's see, Sylvie is going to, uh, just for more, you know, honestly. So we're going to take 40,000 damage. Uh, everyone's above 20,000 HP, so we don't need good mitigation. If anyone, because we've currently got 50 mitigation from Ash using Shell plus 2. Uh, let's go ahead and do the SLB. Yeah, so we're going to take 40,000 fixed damage, but it's reduced by general mitigation. So currently we have 50% um, general mit, which means we're going to take 20,000 damage. When we heal with Sylvie, we're all going to be above 20,000, but just for the absolute safety, I'm going to use burgeoning defense for an 85% mitigation. That way we take like 8,000 damage or something. So we are going to refill less MP as a result of that, but we're going to take a lot less damage too for the safety. And then we do need Nethocyte. you got to Nethocyte even turns in Phase 3. We're going to do that with Nicole. And if you don't own the Nethocyte Materia, you can use uh, Ash's STMR. There's the Dispel, and here's the Double Fixed. Um, I got my turns wrong, so maybe that's on turn 14 it would happen. Whoops, my bad, whatever, it doesn't matter. We, we took no damage. It's fine. Anyway, now our Lulu is Berserked. Whatever. That's cool, too. Um, I actually don't have that right in my turn chart. Let me fix this. There. Okay. Um, anyway. Okay, so now it's time to kill. Uh, so it's turn, was it turn 13? Yeah, we're going to kill this turn. We have 100% Amplify this turn. You know, Nicole's Amplify did the 100%. Um, let's go ahead and re-imbue with Nicole this turn. Let's have Ash go to the base form, and we will triple bolting. And we'll triple bolting with Sylvie. Now, our Golbez is not max MP, because I got, I got kind of paranoid, and I did a mitigation instead of an MP fill. I didn't have to do that, because even if the boss did do the 40,000 attack that turn, we would have survived. We would have taken 20,000 because of mitigation, but I kind of wanted to show you the safe way to do it, but eh, whatever. So honestly... With Golbez at only 65% 60, or so HMP, he might not kill. And if not, that's okay. We'll kill in turn 15. So we wait. We chain. And let's see. We do, we do have 100% we do have Amplify. Oh, yeah, we got him. This turn we had a 100% Amplify. So that was a 13 turn all mission clear. If you need more damage, you can add a second Golbez or another finisher. You can add someone like, um, I, I don't know, someone... A good finisher. You could use things like Olive and Extreme Nova. You can use things like Chizuru. She's a tag chainer, so you, you actually just throw her into any chain you want. 
stuff like that. Bring six units and then go back for a slower clear. Or if you don't have things like Lulu, that's probably going to be, I guarantee you, the number one comment on this video. What if I don't have Lulu? Um, if you have your own Ash, you can grab a friend Lulu. Or you could use Kaito. Kaito does a 150 in peril and an 88 break. It's not as good as Lulu. Lulu does a 160 in peril and an 89 spirit break with her SLB. So it's better for Golbez, but if you don't have Lulu, Kaito is a good alternative. You could also go things like a light element party with Sukiko. So Sukiko, use her field. She can be a bolting strike chainer. She can chip in a bunch of damage as well. But I wanted to do a Golbez clear uh, that did water. Because my first video, even though it was messy, was a light element party with Olive and Sukiko. And it did work. But there you go. So here's the here's the team's gear we're going to be showing. Uh, Nicole's gear, kind of irrelevant. Some mana reduction, some Esper fill, some LB fill, Nethesite, and Blue Wave. And again, if you don't own the limited material Nethesite, give him Equip Sword, like Freevia's TMR, or the Equip Sword in regular material, and give him Ash's STMR. That works totally fine as well. Uh, his card. I was going to chain him with Olive. I decided we did Olive in the first clear, so I decided to go to Golbez clear in well, so ignore that card. Uh, and then his shift form, you know, some LB fill, Call of the Wild, Burek Dragon's Brush. That way on turn 8 and 10, we can LB back to back, kind of. Uh, and yeah, he does, he, does the, he does the water stuff. Lulu, Passive Provoker, Charm Immune, Death Immune. A little bit of Spirit so she survives the single target attack. Other than that, I gave her a Nethesite as a backup. Again, you can use things like Ash's STMR. Uh, or I guess... You could ignore the dispel. I don't recommend that. You definitely, you definitely want to stop the dispel. Um, and then some bulk. We gave her, you know, the card. You don't need as much bulk, honestly. We took like four thousand damage from from the berserk attack. Uh, it's fine. Uh, and then passive provoke from the dancer's diadem. You don't need any evasion. There's no physical damage here. And she does, like I mentioned, her SLB is an 89 Spirit Break and a 160 Water Imperil. And you combine that with the 50 Field from Nicole, and the boss goes down to literally zero Water Resist. Uh, instead of like 210 that he starts with. Uh, Sylvie, just Esper Fill, her TMR or STMR, and then some Status Immunity. Oh yeah, the whole party needs... I guess they don't need Petrify Immunity because we're using Sylvie, huh? If you're not using Sylvie, you need Petrify Immunity on the party. And yeah, she just support chained and filled LB and buff status immunity. Golbez is using the Dark Visions two-handed sword, and we're getting the sword and peril from Sylvie. So 6,500 MP, basically 9,500 magic, uh, magic boost, chain cap up, you know, some Clash of Wells gear. He's definitely geared very well, the, the Dazzling card. And uh, Fairy Killer is at max Fairy Killer 300. Yeah, he gears really well. I love Golbez. Very good damage. Single target damage, or single damage dealer. And then the friend, this is Unum's, and a bunch of other, other people built me ashes as well, so big shout out to everyone. You know, I, I used Live Dillies earlier. Rooks built me one. I think Neo built me one. Some others too. There's a lot of people that built me the ash. But the ash you want, there, there's, there's various strategies. My original strategy, in my first video, I was using Ash as the Provoker. I didn't like that, so I asked. That, but I did ask my friends to gear her in Passive Provoke. Uh, it's fine because I, I I changed my mind on that. I wanted someone else to provoke, and I just put a different Provoker higher in the party, and they provoked instead. So whatever. So she doesn't actually. If if she's not provoking, she doesn't actually need Death Immunity, Charm Immunity, or really anything other than. 400 Earth Resist. That allows you to ignore all the Earth damage. Uh, and then the Shift Form geared identical. So here's the build. Uh, there it is. A lot of Earth Resist. And then there's, you know, an Earth Resist card. And Base Form, the same thing. And we chose her because she does um, 250 Single Target Killer while covering. She can also do 150 AoE Killer, again, while covering the magic. There's also an alternative you could do is just skip a magic tank and buff Earth Resist on the party and cure the Imperils. That would work, but that would be more action intense, and obviously Golbez did everything. Uh, but yeah, there's an all mission with Golbez. Turn chart will be in the comments, and you guys know how I do with new trials. We'll be doing more clears over the weekend. See you in a bit.